Okay. Hold on. Let me pull up the... The document? The document. Our <laughs> script. <laughs> <laughs> Our exact, we wrote it down, yeah, like, you know, the, is, the plays and movies. It, uh, I even wrote down how, like, many times I need to blink. <laughs> yeah, and how many times I need to pause. Okay, I think I met my blinking quota. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I still have to, I still have to giggle a few more times. Okay, go ahead. All right. I think I think I got the nerves out. I think I shook them out. I got to shake them out a little bit more. Shake it off. Shake, shake it off. off. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of Minta Matara's Summer Special. Yay! Yippee! Yep, we're... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what you what you think of what you think of last week, Mataro? I loved it. What did you think of last week, Mint? I I still don't know how to feel. I think I'm still in a whirlwind <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was a little crazy. I that night I think I slept three hours. I just was too excited. It's almost you know when you're a kid and you're going on a trip. Mm. or it's Christmas and you just, you can't sleep. You're so excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was me. Wait, excited for it, like premiering and everything? Yeah, um. excited. First of all, I was holding in the secret, right? And then <laughs> after for the premiere, I was just excited for it to premiere so that people would know it's not an April Fool's. Not an April Fool's, ba oh, unless it is. Mm -hmm. This is like the longest April Fool's. <laughs> Yeah, it's still April Fool's still next April. week. <laughs> it is April the, after all, so. Yeah. Wait. The real April Fool's is that there was no April Fool's on April Fool's. True. Ah, huh? you've been fooled. <laughs> you've been fooled. Get, you've been fooled. Get pranked, dummy. <laughs> 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 I just have to like uh, walk past the everybody watching and if they're holding like a sandwich or a drink, just knock it on the floor. Oh. <laughs> you suck. What? <laughs> you got pranked. <laughs> I don't know if that's a prank. I think that's just being rude. <laughs> Bullying. <laughs> I think you're just being bully. <laughs> if you've ever personally felt victimized by Matara Khan. <laughs> me, me. Me, <laughs> I'm raising uh, both my hands. <laughs> I will close my eyes. What I do not see cannot hurt me. <laughs> I cannot see. I am blind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, speaking of April, there's been some people that are just like, um, summer special. It's not even <laughs> summer. Um, can't you guys have a little bit of whimsy for us, please? <laughs> like, yeah. Can you suspend your disbelief for three freaking seconds, please? Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. And it honestly sounds like they want us to shorten the podcast a little bit. I think so. Mm. You know what? It's going to be the spring special. The what? When does spring, when does spring end? I think it ends April 21st. No, I think it's May. It just- What? It spring just, is until May? Yeah, it just turned. It just, oh, wait. Yeah, summer starts June 21st. Wait, June? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we're ending on June 21st, everyone. <laughs> Confirmed. I was going to say, because it, it, in summer March special. 20th I mean, or special. something, I think is- That's when spring, spring begins. Starts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what scares me about this podcast? That people will realize that outside of being VTubers, we don't have much life knowledge. <laughs> um, what is spring? Is spring May 21st? Okay, but you like came from space and I've been in a ghostly plane. So um, I did. it's fine. It's like AKA we're a little dumb sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. No, I agree. Listen, and this is why I love we we are gonna have a catchphrase. It is official catchphrase. Hags, hags. Have a great summer, spring. And for those of you that think it's spring, have a great spring. Have a great, it still works. <laughs> hags. hags. And remember, hags. <laughs> remember hags. Remember hags. I love it. I think it's such a good tagline. I'm honestly a little upset I didn't come up with it. But this is why I've started utilizing the brain power of the audience. Oh. They are so much smarter. They are so much better. 
When you said it earlier, I thought you came up with it. I, I came up with it. Yeah. Oh. So with my community, we do have this joke that it's not a joke. We share one brain cell. Oh. It's the primordial brain cell, the, the Momo mind. So oh. any idea that they have, any emo they make, any idea, any it belongs to me. It's our idea. Oh. So. How convenient. And I did read hags in my stream. So just so you know, whoever came up with hags, it's our idea. Our idea. What's yours is mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the little Bugs Bunny meme. <laughs> 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 Me taking the idea from the, <laughs> the stream. I love it. It's such a good tagline. Hags. Hags. It's perfect. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how to feel about it, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I really? like it. Okay, okay. But, you know, it comes with a certain, like, like, how to say, that's how people feel about us, right? Mm, what do you mean? Where, where are you going with this? I think I'm dropping the bit. I, I don't think get we it. should move on. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, well, then let's 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 just bring that up then while we're talking about the tagline mm -hmm. for hashtags. I think we have settled on a hashtag. Oh, yes. Yes. Drum roll. <laughs> you say it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Mintara Monday. Why is there a question mark? <laughs> <laughs> She's so good at reading scripts. It's amazing. She she really is just going. Yeah, you literally erased it. As <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be Matara Monday. Monday. <laughs> Mondays, <laughs> Mentara Mondays. Mentara I really, Mondays. really like it. Yeah, it's super cute. So what, every every week when we upload um, the podcast, we will also have the hashtag. If you want to just add things onto that hashtag, mm -hmm. we could sometimes go through it on either Patreon or even on here. You know, it's nice. It's nice to have a place since we're not going to have a Reddit and we're not having a Discord. Yeah, you it's can, nice to have a place of discussion. You can post like your favorite moments and stuff. We mm -hmm. want to see what you like. So yeah, Mintara, mm -hmm. Min, Mintara Mondays. Mintara. It almost sounds like Minotaur. No, Mintara. It, oh, don't say that, please. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I read a book. So not oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those books, isn't it? <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. It's half man, half horse. <laughs> well, I mean, do you actually, I think he's actually full bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also, sorry, if this is kind of off topic, I wanted to say it before we got too far in. Sorry if I still sound a little nasally. I'm, I'm a little sick, so I'm, I'm, yeah, recovering. she's still sick yeah. in the head <laughs> after this. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's full bull. Okay, well, he's like half man, half bull. That's what okay. a minotaur which is. Happens. You're thinking of a centaur, which is. Half. Yeah, I was actually going to say, I forgot the word, but in Russian, it's called kintavr, which is a centaur. And that's where the joke comes from. Like, ah, oh, which part is. The man and what's the horse? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it actually was like not even that bad of a book. Okay, it was called The Minotaur Milking Farm. And. Stop, stop. <laughs> you. What? The, you, the, like this has to be a joke. No, it's real. You should. Get... Uh, There's a. <laughs> I, I I rented it from my local library. What? Yeah. I... So it wasn't like. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um... and um, do they get milked? Oh. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not expect that to be like the first thing we talk about. Well, you brought wow, up the you... Minotaur, so it's not me. Oh. It's you. Is it like a? It it is a, a sexy book, right? Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh well you've I, got unconventional I taste i don't know about sexy but it is a 
<laughs> it's a book, all right. <laughs> Depends on your taste, maybe. I, I've told you, though, I feel like that I like to read oh, no, bad. I, I know. I know about that. But I, but I didn't know it was like that, that. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say for the audience, I like to read bad romance novels because I think they're I don't always know so how funny. romantic milking is <laughs> oh but this one, let me milk oh, you romantically baby girl but no. I, I like went into this thinking like oh man this is gonna be trash this is gonna be so bad but it actually was like kind of good I was so shocked I was like okay do you do you legitimately recommend this um yeah I think so okay <laughs> Our first book recommendation of the episode of the podcast, Milky, what was it? Minotaur Milking Farm? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is unreal. I, 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 no one does where, it like I'm looking her, for apparently. like the office camera. You know, in the office, this is a very millennial thing to say where you're like looking for the camera. Uh, am I getting punked? No. <laughs> Another I, millennial reference. I'll send it to you after this. Oh, I. Wow. Uh, you have and then to, I'll, I'll let you know how I feel about it. You have to see the cover. It just... It <laughs> All right. Let me look up the cover. I I have to. Well, I'm scared of what my search is going to look like. That's fine. You'll be fine. Minotaur milking book. Okay. That Minotaur milking farm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Morning glory milking farm. <laughs> Cambric yeah. Creek. Sweet and steamy monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see the cover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's got a 4.1 rating that's out of 10,000 reviews. It's I'm a good saying. book. That's what I'm saying. Like people okay, are can kind I, of raving about it. Can I do the it. synopsis? Is that okay? Sure, sure, sure. Violet is a typical down-on-her-luck millennial, mid-twenties, overeducated and drowning in debt, on the verge of moving into her parents' basement, when a lifeline appears in the form of a very unconventional job in neighboring Camber... Cambric Creek. She has no choice but to grab at it with both hands. <laughs> Morning Glory Farm <laughs> offers full-time hours, full benefits, and generous pay with no experience needed. There's only one catch. The clientele is grade A certified prime beef with the manly, meaty, and <laughs> I can't read it. I'm done reading it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, mm. Anyway, that's the first book recommendation of the podcast. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> Glad that I could uh, break that ice there. <laughs> Hands on work with minotaurs isn't something violent. Wow. With the endowments to match. She needed the money, you know? I get it. <laughs> and they needed the milking. Yeah, apparently. Uh, so, when did you read this book? Uh, a couple of months ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy you are back among us here because now you're just, you know, I haven't. This is what she does in her spare time. I haven't read uh, another romance novel since that. So, if anybody, that's, mm. oh, you know, last week people have put in their anime suggestions. This week yeah, they can yeah, put yeah, yeah. in their. There are bad romance book suggestions. Oh, that is actually a really good <laughs> idea. You're so you're so good at this. Not only is this a good idea, this is such a good segment. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so good at this. Mm -hmm. oh, you're a freaking ah. natural. I'm just kidding. Ah. <laughs> the Ojo Sama laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, please recommend us, I guess, your uh, favorite um, sexy novels. Yes. But they have to be of novels? this kind of genre where it's like, yeah. No, <laughs> it can be any sexy any. novel. I am so excited for, <laughs> so I hired someone who's going to help us like consolidate all the like questions and all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're going to be finding like the cover art and stuff to make it easier to edit the podcast. Crub, if you're listening, don't you love your job? <laughs> hey. This is what they could listen to. They could listen to the book while oh, they're searching. You're right. Oh, well, he's married, so he should probably get it for his wife. So they, she can get some good ideas. Why don't they both listen? They could both listen. Oh, what is the word of that? Foreplay. What? It's good foreplay. Huh? Yeah. Huh? What, what do you mean, huh? You talked about minotaurs getting milked. I don't... What? 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 Like, they're gonna... Like, it, it like helps you, like get comfortable by like okay 
anyway, please recommend us your your book suggestions. And um, yeah, speaking of the questions that happened last week, first of all, mint is an herb that can be used to flavor food. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. When for- we asked, is mint a spice? <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for clearing that up for us. Yeah, yeah, I we really appreciate herb. it. I'm a herb. Yeah, you're a herb. You're a herbivore. I'm a herbivore. I'm a herb. You're a herbivore. I'm a herb. Wasn't there like a, a, a TV show? It was like Phineas and Herb? No, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> <laughs> that I've never seen it. <laughs> what was it about? Do you know? Oh, actually, no. Uh, someone made that um, that fan art of us. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, because I know, I know the fan art you're thinking of. It's mm-hmm. the show. It's a show about these two kids that are trying to figure out how to spend their summer vacation, and that's literally no, us. Are you kidding me? Yes, that's us. Okay, what's Phineas like? Since you're probably Herb. Uh, I don't remember which is which. You know, it's okay. <laughs> we'll 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 figure it out. For, well, what are they both like? I think Phineas is the triangle head. And then <laughs> I do have a pretty triangular. <laughs> and then Ferb is the quiet one. I don't oh. think I don't think we're either like I don't think we're like either one to be honest because they're also okay. very smart. They're like genius children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's definitely not. we are a not children. B kind of dumb. <laughs> we could be like the opposite. You know, it's like Sonic and Shadow, mm. right? We could be like the shadow to their. We're old hags oh. looking on how to spend our summer, except, you know, not geniuses. Yeah, we're just and sad. Loud. <laughs> <laughs> we're just old, sad hags trying to. Okay, speak for yourself. I'm an old, happy hag. Happy, the happy, older I get, happy. happy. <laughs> I, okay, I, the, the older I get, this is, this is a big question. Happy, I know happy, we have happy, like happy, a few happy. things. <laughs> She's like, don't ask your question. <laughs> so, um, When's the last time you cried? No, I'm oh. kidding. That's not actually the question. The The real thing I want to say is um, the older I get, the happier I get. Really? Yeah. Hmm. How do you feel about that? Agree, disagree? Um, maybe I feel happy about some things and sad about other things. I just think I learned how to deal better with the hardships of life, you know, mm-hmm. you kind of, when, when you're younger, you just, you freak out and you don't know how to deal with it. True. True. But yeah, sorry. Sorry for the, <laughs> this is such a whiplash the beginning. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I kind of love it. This is, is this it, is how it flows. Isn't that like usually what you ask people though, when you first meet them, you're just like, when's the okay, last this is time such a good icebreaker for anybody that has heard me say this before. Genuinely. Good asterisk. A- <laughs> it's an amazing icebreaker. Because it either gets the other person to kind of be genuine, be like, you know what? Yeah, actually, I cried, da, 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 da. Or they're like, what the heck is this question, you silly, goofy goose? But mm. sometimes they say it with a few more insults. And then you know what they're <laughs> like. And then you kind of have like a funny, funny little vibe. You know, you're like, ha, ha, uh, yeah, I'm so dumb. <laughs> wait, have you ever seen I that? I genuinely think it's a good question. Have you ever seen that TikTok that's like, ask the weird thing? Like say the weird question or whatever. That's how I feel like you are. (laughs) (laughs) I I genuinely think it's such a good icebreaker. When I say icebreaker, I really do mean like you've talked to them a few lines and then the conversation kind of stalls and you're trying to basically see at what level you can vibe with the person. (laughs) You're laughing because I keep explaining. (laughs) You know, it's not a good icebreaker when I have to over explain it. (laughs) I guess that's true. What's your icebreaker? I don't think I have Do you one. know Metal Gear? <laughs> yeah, that's my icebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know Metal Gear Solid? Actually, though, no, people, more people know about Metal Gear than you would think. And you learn more peop- about, you learn um, more about More someone- people cry than people who know about Metal Gear. So. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Both of our methods are valid, okay? <laughs> I'm just weeding out. I'm weeding out the good people. You're weeding out the weak. <laughs> <laughs> the weak. <laughs> Imagine somebody's like, yeah, I cried yesterday. And I'm like, oh, weak. yeah. Weak. <laughs> weak. Hey, <laughs> bleep that out. <laughs> um, something, something. Um, <laughs> I only do this with like a really close friend of mine who has mm. insomnia. Oh. And and she's told me before that like she loves she doesn't love it but like she thinks it's really funny. <laughs> what do you do to her? What do you? Do? 
<laughs> so basically, I tie her up. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I thought you were. Really, I thought you were serious for a second. <sighs> no, 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 no. Um. So basically, she'll wake up sometimes. She's like, "Oh, I had an awful night's sleep today." I'm like, "Really? I had a great sleep." <laughs> that's so rude. And that's our pit. <laughs> Well, did you feel better about yourself being like, oh yeah, my sleep was so much better than yours. No, because I lie, my sleep's not great, but I'm always like, oh, I had such a good sleep. And then ah. she'll be like, oh, is it true? I'm like, nah, I'm kidding. What's up? Oh. Um. <laughs> what a great friend you are. <laughs> this is not me, by the way, that she does this too, in no. case people are So like, I'm just imagining somebody's like, yeah, I cried yesterday. I'm like, oh, sucks. Life is going great, by the way. <laughs> Me, so happy. Cloud nine, you could say, of happiness. <laughs> wow. Must be nice being a roach. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, <sighs> moving on from crying. Uh, we had our <laughs> first episode last week. Yes, we did. How, how do you feel about that? I feel really good. good. I think the... <laughs> good. I think the reception has been a lot. I mean, I, I thought the reception was going to be nice, but I mm. feel like I, I always kind of brace myself. I'm always, I'm always, you know, um, I always kind of brace myself a little bit for impact and it's been so nice. Everyone's been so sweet mm. and I just, I feel really excited. I, and even today, right? We called, we talked, now we're recording. This is the fun part. We, we are done with the hard part. Now we just sit and yap and <laughs> find out about <laughs> your reading habits and my <laughs> friendship habits. You think, what about you? How do you feel? I don't know. I still, I still feel, okay, so when we're recording this, uh, it's the day before my comeback stream. Yeah. So for me, I still feel, I don't know, like it just doesn't, Sorry, I, keep- I still feel very strange. I'm still trying to get used to my my body. My <laughs> yeah. And you know, you're still a little sick, so that's yeah, not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have a bit of a cough, so. Mm, um, mm-hmm. But I haven't well, coughed d- this time. Uh, n- never say never. Oh, true. I'm gonna Well, he's now. bigger than me, stronger than me, but he's not on a JB song with me. What? You know the Jaden Smith and, and Justin Bieber duet? This is that song. I'll have to send it to you. I don't know that. <laughs> It's it's a song. <laughs> it is a song. It sounds like. <laughs> well, I guess since you, uh, I, I want to, I wrote it down later, but mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you about it now. Okay. Um, so as of us recording this on Wednesday, you are having a stream tomorrow, tomorrow. Thursday, the 4th. Tomorrow. Death day. She. Um, Death day. <laughs> yeah, it's three years ago that I graduated on that day. So crazy. And now you ungraduated. No, I'm ungraduated. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> is that a, no, 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 Matara. <laughs> is, that, is that weird? Is that... <laughs> no, I don't think anything's weird. Mm, I don't know. I. What do you have planned? Yeah, I actually... Tell me everything. I have nothing planned. I... <laughs> I don't what, even. What think, are you gonna do? I don't even. I was like looking through my stuff, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, do I even have some of my like old assets?" I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to borrow anything, let me know. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna borrow. You know, your like gifts of Momo, like. Yeah. For my, yeah. <laughs> for my uh, alerts and things like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, you, she could technically steal a lot of my alerts because. Uh, we we are in a group with Rowing Tuna who did the uh, eco bag oh, yeah, and yeah. the stickers. And if you scroll up, they're they are in the there, group. Yeah. They actually are working on on my alert. I'm gonna take them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can actually steal my alert. I'm gonna take them. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> I really feel like for, for anybody who, you know, this is going to be out next week. So probably uh, you would have watched the stream, but for yourself, you are not currently at a hundred K on YouTube, but I think you will be before your stream tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I think you're going to get a little overwhelmed. I don't know if you're going to cry on stream, but I think you're going to have a big cry after of gratitude. I think so. And I think everybody will show up and show you how much they missed you, how much they love you. They let you go away once and they're never going to let you go. You know, they're going to hold you and kiss you and love you. And sorry, I'm imagining the book. <laughs> um, what do you think is it's going to be like tomorrow? I, well, like even these past couple of days, I've felt like crying just because I'm like, 
I'm like, oh my gosh, this doesn't feel real. It, it, honestly, like seeing fan art and stuff, it feels so surreal. Mm. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, mint mint fan art in 2024? That doesn't seem possible. Yeah. My timeline is filled with like your reaction faces. I know. Everybody, anything any, anybody says, people react with like your reaction faces. <laughs> On Discord, I saved a bunch of them and I post them at you. I love seeing that. I am, I'm so happy. Oh. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Like I have... I think I want to make it as casual as possible because, um, well, I'll probably, I'm gonna, well, not probably, I will say this on the stream tomorrow, but in case mm -hmm. people have missed the stream or missed what I said, um, it's not really like a re-debut. It's just kind of me coming back. Um, yeah. So it's just a bit more casual. I don't have anything mm -hmm. new. Like I, I have this new rigging and that's about it. Thanks to Matara even. Like I was totally fine with keeping my old rigging, but Matara was just like, yeah, but you, but my, um, I love my old rigging. Yua did an amazing yeah. job and I love of her course. for it and everything. Mm -hmm. But because it was, uh, it had to be done so quickly because I was graduating, it was actually incomplete. And so mm. um, with this, I was able to get the full everything that I Hell had yeah. wanted before and more. So it's, ah. <laughs> So crazy. I'm happy. It's, I, I guess we can like uh, approach that topic later as well, but it, there's always kind of this expectation, right? Of a debut or anything mm. like that. And as you said, it's not a re-debut. You're just, you want to stream a little bit. Mm. Maybe you want to stream a lot. It doesn't <laughs> matter, but you're just, you're here. You're going to do a stream. Yep. And yeah, sorry. She might not have, you know, 15 songs lined up and a huge lore video and all that nothing. stuff. But at some point, do you want, a lore video, or do you want her back? Pick one. Uh, <laughs> Pick a struggle. <laughs> oh, well, should we talk about some stuff like that? Like how I don't know what for lore videos. Yeah, we we are definitely gonna talk about it. That's mm. gonna be kind of the meat of the episode. Mm. We are gonna talk about our experiences with VTubing and mm. our recommendations for VTubing. But I do want to answer a lot of questions before that, mm. Mm. and then we'll we'll get into the meat of it. Okay. She's she's going off script. She's Sorry. she's wild. She's jumping around on the script. Sorry. I'm so old. I have to like scroll down and be like, where did she go? Where did she go? I'm already I'm already eight pages ahead of you. <laughs> she really is. I would like to answer uh, because last week we also asked you to recommend us some detective and oh, mystery yeah, anime, yeah. and uh, there's been a few people who gave us some suggestions, and we're gonna post them on screen in a little bit. But if you want to read a few of them, and I'll do too. Yes. So. Well, this is the person. Oh man, YouTube has like made it so it's hard to read what a person's username is. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, your at is probably not how you go by in chat. Um, mm -hmm. but QPT one four seven eight recommended yeah. Hyoka as the best mystery mm. anime. I didn't realize have you heard of Hyoka. It? I did. I have heard of it, but I didn't realize it was a mystery anime. Have you heard of it? I have not heard of it. I think if you saw it, like I saw the main girl, you would probably recognize it because it was super duper popular. I think it's Kyo and Kyoto anime. Kyoto anime. Oh, okay. I recognize it. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It was like so, it's so popular. Yeah, it was. I remember it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I do remember this. But I haven't seen it. I've always wanted to see it because it was so beautiful. But I uh -huh. also didn't realize it was a mystery anime. Me neither. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you for the recommendation. Thank you. We also got uh, Peter John V D H D. Listen, we probably won't be able to read all your names all the time. We're doing our best. Yeah. Um, for mystery anime, I'd recommend Ghost Sig. Been a decade since I watched it, but rated it highly at the time. Oh. Uh, I also remember there being some funny bad French in one of the episodes from Matara to <laughs> Cringe at. Never heard of that one either. Really? It's mm -hmm. it's pretty older, I think. Ghost Sig. I. It's Ghost Sig Gothic. It's very gothic themed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I like it. that. I watched I'm really it into that. Lot. I don't really don't remember much really? about it at all, except the girl. Oh was my god, the whole gothic Lolita. Yeah, I just yeah, looked yeah, it up. Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is absolutely something I would have watched. Like this is, it seems very in line with like Chobits and everything, the art mm. style, the everything. Mm. Wow, it's very cute, like the mm -hmm. art, the girl too. But I don't remember much about it. Mm. Huh. Oh yeah, she's adorable. Yeah. I will tell you this. I have heard of every anime in the next oh, recommendation. Course. So oh. wait, in the next <laughs> but those one? are like pretty known ones. Yeah, those are pretty known Actually, ones. Actually, I don't know one of them. Is it Pluto? Yeah. Yeah. Um wait, wait, read I the comment. I have to look that read one the up. comment. <laughs> oh wait. All right. I'll read the comment. Wait, we will go back and okay. forth, right? I, I lied. I knew three of them. <laughs> 
So this is from Sketch Cartoon Guy. He recommended Pluto, do da da da, erased and Steins Game. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? You did that so good. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Can you do that again? Da, da, da. I think you did it really good, but the first time was like uncanny. I actually thought you played a soundboard. <laughs> well, yeah, my voice wow. kind of, I, I have I had to clear my throat. <laughs> that was crazy. That was so mm. well done. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shivers, shivers. <laughs> but no, I've never heard of Pluto. Me neither. Mm. But thank you. This is a lot of stuff. Yeah. This Everybody is a lot of good anime. Everybody should watch Gate. So awesome best anime and do da da and i do da 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 sorry i, I was calling it do da never finished do da 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 i only watched a little bit of it but i watched it because selty was i have a thing for masked people <laughs> <laughs> okay okay <laughs> remember that when you recommend novels okay <laughs> it's like, like it's it's like um oh. hello yeah i thought you i thought you like um cut off for oh, a second oh, sorry. On. um uh it's like okay if, if if someone is wearing a mask or an eye patch or mm -hmm. anything that covers a portion of their face um or their whole face i'm, I'm automatically mm -hmm. down F funny enough um durarara is the reason i wanted to go to ikibukuro ah, because yeah. uh, like they talk about it so much and they like they have it and i'm always uh, whenever i first came to japan which was i think 13 13 or, or so years ago i went straight to Iki, uh, ikibukuro because of this anime whoa and fun fact mm -hmm. did you did was it just like your japanese anime <laughs> <laughs> it was just like my japanese animes <laughs> love did bloom on the battlefield <laughs> it can <laughs> All right, next one, we got Noel Torres, a uh, list of mystery detective anime I suggest watching. On Go, haven't heard of that. Beautiful Bones, Sakurako's Investigation, mm. haven't heard of that. <laughs> the Millionaire Detective, Balance Unlimited, haven't heard of it. Another, more of a mystery <laughs> since there's no actual detective. These are all ones I've never heard of. Wait, I think there's one more, but it's cut off. No, it was, it was the, it was like the, oh, it, it oh, wasn't I see, one I see. more. Yeah. Um, I've watched Beautiful Bones. Okay. I loved it until the end. Really? Oh, I, and then it's a show I don't think it got a season two so mm. it was just very like oh you were so you had me so much until the ending um another if you're gonna watch that it's also kind of spooky but also it's very gory so be careful oh if you watch it okay <laughs> uh gore i can i feel like gore in anime doesn't bother me as much as it does in in like a real movie mm, really you know not real but like non-animated really movie, yeah oh, see like, not animated it, it feels more ugh. Anything. but in anime it's yeah like there's a scene everyone will know what i'm talking about with the umbrella oh mm. and i have really bad stuff with eyes like anything that like goes oh body horror oh, right oh, that kind of stuff yeah. <laughs> Uh, like well not body horror well i mean it's just gore like it's just yeah if there's like something that happens with the eyes i'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> but i've never seen ungo or the millionaire detective me neither I'll check it out thank you for for recommending a bunch of stuff that i haven't heard about or another yeah right? thank you guys um i do have to ask before we go to the last anime so you said the ending was bad Mm -hmm. Would you still recommend the anime, even though the ending is bad, right? Or are you mm -hmm. kind of the person who's like, the ending is bad. Don't watch, like, don't watch the whole thing. Mm, I don't know. I think it depends on how bad the ending is. Yeah. Like if it's Game of Thrones style uh, or, you know. Cause, yeah. Cause um, like someone, the earlier suggestion erased. Have you watched that? Mm -hmm. I haven't finished it. No. Oh, it's so good. And I... I really? don't like the ending, but I still recommend. It took me a while to get into it. I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why. Mm, I still recommend it though, because I, I don't know. I liked it a lot. I really like mm. the opening. I listen to it even now. <laughs> da, 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 Wait, who da, sings the opening? Asian Kung Fu Generations, I think. Oh, da, it's uh. Da, ba, da, 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 yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, small kind of tangent. I kind of don't mind if things end badly. Um. Mm. There's a game I really love called Mass Effect. Oh, and yeah. this is a little bit of a spoiler oh. of an ending of Mass Effect, but not fully because it's listening. a secret ending. Really? You're going to play Mass Effect? I want to. 
Oh, okay, never mind then. But <laughs> TLDR, I got not a ha- not a great ending. Ah, okay, and okay. I still love the game. And when I tell people about the ending that I got, they get a little upset with me for getting that end. Not a, not oh. anymore because, you know, but really eight or so years ago when I played the game, people would get upset with me for the ending that I got. Be- and uh, I still enjoyed it. Is it because very, of the choices that you made that got you that ending? I basically, I basically made all the wrong choices. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, people new? were a little unhappy. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm here with you right now on a Wednesday morning. So well, you- <laughs> I definitely made a wrong choices. Okay, there's one more. Wait, you're here. I'm not here with you. You're here. You're stuck here with me. True, true. You are the one who summoned me. <laughs> mm-hmm. One more. Go ahead. Uh, must. Well, this is from Fawn420. Must watch mystery anime is ID Invaded. Uh-huh. Hold on, I have to, uh, my eyes. I yeah, can't. it's a really, it's sorry. Tight. I don't know why it's so small. <laughs> it, and not only is it literally detective solving murders, but the twist on the concept is super original. The animation is mm. beautiful and the OST gives me chills. Miyavi. Oh, I love Miyavi Is that so why much. you picked this cop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miyavi's vocals in the insert song hit so hard. I don't know this one. <laughs> me neither. Well, Thank now. you for the recommendations. Now you have a ton of mystery anime Let's to go. watch or detective anime if ever you want some more. And even for me. Thank you, everybody. Thank we really you appreciate guys. it. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, small little thing. Um, we you came up with this and it's such a good name for the Patreon questions and answers. <laughs> this is such a boo and a <laughs> it's such a good name. Nice segue. <laughs> I, we don't have to segue into everything. Sometimes we could be like, oh, jarringly True. changing the topic. We're jarringly changing the topic, you guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. the boo and a for the questions it's on so Patreon. so well done. Um, if you haven't checked out the Patreon yet, um, uh, thanks for those who have already subscribed. But we already have like some posts up on there. We obviously have. Yeah. Uh, the We'll have the episode two episode up. <laughs> we haven't recorded episode two patreon up. Yeah. yeah so um yeah be sure to yeah. check it out we're also going to be doing two streams there a month for now we mm-hmm. don't want to over promise under deliver we want to do the opposite so stay tuned for that yeah um and uh how else have we improved the podcast this week mm-hmm. from week one i don't know i mean am i talking we're recording more? <laughs> differently you are okay you uh, like are amazing you uh, like you're a star. I'm laughing. I'm giggling. I'm cringing. I'm crying. I'm, You're liking I love my it. book recommendations. <laughs> I'm loving your book recommendation. You know, it's good when I, I, I have nothing. I'm like, oh, 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 you know, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was pretty good. You're great. You're great. It's pretty good. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even gotten there. <laughs> you can't say that line. You haven't played that you Metal Gear yet. Played it. <laughs> which Metal Gear is it? Is it V? No, I'm not telling. Or four. I'm not telling. T- which metal? Tell me. I'm not telling you. You have to play <laughs> and then you'll figure it out. I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking a lot of sh- for somebody in like kicking si- of kicking size. Hey, hey, what the, what, are you, what is that supposed size. to mean? <laughs> it means I'm gonna kick you. Try kicking me, you. your foot will go straight through me, huh? <laughs> through the ectoplasm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we, we are recording the pod a little bit differently, so the quality should be much better. Mm. We have also, you know, we're, we're taking little, little precautions. We're settling in. Precautions is the wrong word, but we're definitely settling in. And I think the nerves, even... T- I don't really get nervous a lot. Yeah. But today, before before we started recording, I told you, I was like, I need I need to walk. I need to stretch. <laughs> I, I'm feeling a little nervous. I mean, it is kind of weird to... When you talk so much, like when you stream, you're having like a conversation, you know? Yeah. I mean, obviously we're still having a conversation, but there's... Instead of just one mind to bounce off of, you have hundreds, thousands, or whatever. So it's yeah. it's different, for sure. Mm, mm, mm. Speaking of streaming, I saw this comment a lot, and mm. when I stream, I have a BGM up, right? Oh, yeah. And a lot of you mentioned that you would like a BGM for the podcast. Yeah, I really don't think so. I think it's nice to like have a BGM in the intro, mm. but during the podcast. I want our voices and the silence. And when we take a break, 
I want the voices in your head to speak. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Agree, disagree? No, I agree. Uh, I think um, for those mentioning wanting a BGM, um, most podcasts don't have BGM. So uh, I think it's just maybe a format you're not, maybe you're not entirely used to yet. So uh, sorry that there won't be- streams have BGM, right? Yeah. Maybe that's why. I, mean, I think that's the case. Like this isn't like a normal stream. Like we're trying to really- Cater it, cater to it like a real podcast. So, um, sorry that it might be a little different from what you're used to, but um, hopefully you'll get used to it. Just hearing hmm. our voices inside your brain. Ooh, Ooh. our voices. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. <laughs> Ooga booga. Yeah. Well, speaking of hearing our voices, now that we are recording this, it has been officially announced. Oh yeah. <gasps> Our meet and greet and panel at Ofkai. Yay! Yay! Hags are coming to Ofkai! The panel, at least. Well, the meet and greet is also. No? I think they only. I already tweeted that we're having it. I already told my I already told my stream. <laughs> oh my god, no, I leaked. I yep. <laughs> we're having Okay. Well, the panel is coming, first of all. <laughs> Mint and Matara's spring and summer special. It's coming off, guy. Yippee! We're going to have a Q&A panel. Yippee! It's going to be, uh, we're going to have all the information on screen for you. But basically, it's going to be at the end of May into beginning June. Mm -hmm. It is in the San Francisco-ish area, I think. I think so, yes. <laughs> so come see us. Come ask us questions at the panel. And uh, we'll be going around the convention, most likely in the, the robot. You know, there's like a little robot. We'll show some pictures. Oh, yeah. And we are going to have individual meet and greets mm -hmm. so that if you only want to meet mint or only want to meet me don't worry no offense taken <laughs> just go do your best and we'll have more information for you mm. as it comes out yeah oh my god i didn't realize that meet and greet wasn't announced oopsie it's my first ever convention <laughs> <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> yippee <laughs> yippee i'm just excited to annoy you in our hotel room <laughs> <laughs> oh no wait can i wait i didn't agree to this <laughs> don't worry i asked for two beds <laughs> oh thank god <laughs> i hope that's the minimum <laughs> can you ask for a partition too like a whole wall can you ask for a separate room <laughs> can you ask for just not being at the convention can i just go alone <laughs> someone's got to stay home and hold down the fort Martha. <laughs> yeah um, um well one thing that's for sure is that we haven't announced other conventions mm. but there will be other conventions yes we we have other things mm. we're cooking um mm -hmm. i know people are Who just let her cook <laughs> people being like oh i can't make it to off kai well just be on the lookout i suppose <laughs> uh -huh. i agree i agree yeah. Is there anything you are really excited about, about your first convention? I, I'm just really excited to meet people, I think. Same. It's the best part. Yeah. It, it just, it just really makes all of this feel more real. Yeah. When you, when you talk to people and you can see how much you mean to them and they mean to you. Oh, I'm going to cry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm emotional today. Oh, I, I, I cannot wait for you to experience that because it's one thing when I tell you you're amazing and the comments tell you you're amazing, but everybody who's going to come and meet you is going to tell you how much you affect them and how much they love you. And it, I, you need that. You deserve it. Please go to her meet and greet. Okay. Go to her meet and greet. Tell her you love her. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I am the words of affirmation, friend. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> oh. Um, yes. Oh, uh, for those wondering about the podcast platforms, should be soon. Yeah. TM. Um, hopefully by episode <laughs> four. If, uh, sorry, um, we're, we just have like a checklist of things that we like. We're gonna yeah. say. And, it's, and I write really, really dumb sometimes as so though she's yeah. like reading how I'm writing and it doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, no, I get it. <laughs> um, you understand? We, mm -hmm. we do apologize for the delay. Uh, so if anyone is waiting to hear the podcast, if you're like, oh, I like to wa listen to podcasts on Spotify or places like that, um, uh, hopefully you'll be able to listen 
uh, as soon mm-hmm. as possible. We're, we're working yeah. on it. We are working on it. I am really hoping by episode four, it should happen. Um, the reason is like, I've already put music on Spotify, but it's slightly mm. a different process for mm. Apple podcasts and Spotify podcasts. Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. please just, oh my God, I'm having a kombucha. It's making me burp. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, everybody. If you hear a little quiet burp, um, Tos- it's going to, <laughs> uh, we could, we could explain that after to some of our, maybe we have some audience here that maybe isn't big into VTubers or they're just getting in or mm. they're not big into like Japanese VTuber culture. Mm. So we could explain Taskaru. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, let me just finish this. Oh. So uh, basically it's going to take a little bit of time to get on the podcast platforms. Don't worry, it'll happen. We'll have all the episodes uploaded and you'll have it. Um, as for Taskaru, usually people say it when you sneeze, cough, anything, and it's like, ah, oh, this this has comforted my soul. This yes. has blessed my thank soul. You thank for, you. Thank you. It's really just <laughs> thank like- Thank you a, for blessing me. It's, yeah, it's really like a- Oh, this saved me. Oh, yes. Tashikaru. Oh, yes. This mm-hmm. has helped me. <laughs> yeah. So. That's why if you see people in streams going TSKR, like Tashikaru, that, that's what it is. Oh, did you know about that before VTubing? Uh, I did not know about that before VTubing. Mm. No. Tashikaru. And like, I didn't realize how much of VTubing was just Japanese word like Ikuzo, right? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's just like, that's just let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if people, if you see people type like IKZ, that's just let's go. That, that's what it means. Ikuzo. 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 Yeah. 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 Um, I have that actually. So in my Discord, we have a lot of people that maybe aren't so big into like Japanese VTubing mm. or anything like that. So when I say like, oh, Oyasu Mama, Oyasu Momo, because my fans are Momos mm. and I'm usually Mama. And I, I've seen people ask, oh, what, what does that mean? And then uh, people would explain, oh, oh, yeah, Sumina Sai, good night. And then because she is mama and we are Momo, you can say both. Oh, that's so cute. So you could say, oh, yeah, Suminto. I used to. I used to say, oh, yeah, Suminto. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I looked into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw it on Twitter. Oh. That's why. <laughs> oh, yeah, Suminto. <laughs> oh, yeah, Suminto. That's a throwback for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Um, yeah, actually. I think this is a good way to start talking more about our experiences with VTubing because, uh-huh. you know, uh, I've, I'm have i coming back after three years. Lots have changed. And, you know. We're trying to make it a good listening experience. <laughs> and you're screeching like, the, like that bird from the Little Mermaid over here. <laughs> I'm just so happy you're back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but yeah, we can talk about kind of, uh, you know, we have obviously like uh, we have adopted some practices from Japanese side of VTuber things, but yeah, also we have yeah. our own thing. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. What, what do we want to talk about first, I guess? With that. Definitely. Let's let's talk about our experiences with VTubing. Mm. That's probably going to be the title. Yeah, our yeah. experiences with VTubing. <gasps> So you said you've been gone for three years. How do you feel things have changed just from just running, like dive into it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So much has changed. I think, mm-hmm. uh, like, I mean, the 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 technology has changed mm. so much. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm kind of, I feel like a real boomer right now because I'm like <laughs> <laughs> a boomer. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> she said boomer. <laughs> because everything is feels so shiny and new and different. And I'm like, whoa, well, you can do that and this and that. Yeah. And uh, um, I mean, I think the community, the culture has changed a lot. There's, yeah. uh, I think just, a, a, there, I mean, so much has changed. And at the same time, a lot of things feel the same. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's a strange feeling, to be honest. Um, it's strange in in what way? Just familiar but unfamiliar, or yeah. how would you? I think okay. that's the case. Yeah, familiar but unfamiliar. Like I feel it like, all looks the same, but it feels a little different. Yeah, exactly. Like I feel mm. like oh, I, I've done this before. Like I've I've been here before, but then I'm like, oh my gosh! Like I feel Wait. I feel very out of my element. Maybe it's because. I'm not really doing a re-debut. I'm kind of just jumping back into it. So it feels mm. a little less like I'm prepared and more like, oh my gosh, I, I'm i just, I'm diving into it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I get you. I get you. 
ha, huh, how do I feel things have changed in mm-hmm. in about three years? Uh, I definitely feel that it, it's gotten more attention. It's gotten more media oh, attention. Yeah. It's gotten more everything attention. Uh when uh, when I kind of got into the medium about four years ago, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> people made fun of me and called me cringe. Really? And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, because uh, for anybody that doesn't know, I've been streaming. Well, I live inside a human woman. Oh, so yeah, I yeah, yeah. infected that. a human woman. And one of the reasons I infected her to live inside of her is because she was a streamer for about oh. a really long time. Um, since about like, I think 20... Um, 20 uh sorry 11 oh. and uh basically it wasn't friends friends but it was like people that you routinely like because just because you work with people doesn't mean you're you know the closest of friends right, unlike right. us <laughs> um <laughs> but back then you know it's like you collab with people often you hang out with them you think they're cool they think you're cool but it's not for you for example i could call you with a real life problem uh, and you will be there for me. Yeah, yeah. And if you're not able to be there for me, you communicate that. But those are just, you know, they're, they're kind of more on the coworker, the people I'm talking about. Mm. But yeah, when I when I began VTubing, they all uh, make fun of me, call me, you know, and like it came back to me anyway. And now <laughs> they're getting into VTubing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I did have somebody reach out to me for, for help and I just, you know, I, like forgive and forget, move on. It's mm. not a big deal. But yeah, I I know that some people were, you know, not talking very positively about me and my changes. Mm. And now for them to turn around and, you know, hey, uh, do you think you could help me with like, <laughs> I just have some questions about VTube. Da, 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 da. That's funny. You're the senpai yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I feel it's just gotten a lot more accepted. It's gotten a lot more normalized. And uh, I just feel there's a lot more people who mm. maybe were not, because initially to get into VTubing, you kind of had to know a little bit about like some Japanese culture. I feel like you had to be at least a little bit into anime or at least a little bit into stuff. Otherwise you kind of wouldn't get some stuff. But now I think you can watch mm. a VTuber, for example, especially on Twitch, you can watch a big independent VTuber and they themselves might have very little knowledge or love of Japan mm. and it's okay. It's accepted. It's, mm. it's fine. Yeah. There's different because types of VTubing is kind of evolved. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. I, I know, I know you said last time, like, you know, it's cool to keep your hobby pure, but it's just fun to see <laughs> that how much it's evolved and how many people can get into this. I don't mean that. Like, 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 no, I know. Yeah. Uh, I think it's cool to see like the different, like you have so many mm-hmm. different types of YouTubers. It's not just yeah. anime girl, <laughs> mm-hmm. but th- it's also safer. Mm. Let's be honest about that. Like getting into VTubing can be safer than streaming regularly. Oh, I thought you meant like you get being to- an anime girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Like you get to basically like maybe protect your identity. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know, like if you, Back then when you started streaming, sorry, I'm jumping the gun on some of these questions. When you started streaming, your coworkers might find out, your friends, oh, your yeah, family. Yeah. If you're, you know, I don't know, a toaster, you're a toaster <laughs> VTuber, uh, chances are your family might not even find you. Yeah. I, I yeah, when well, when I started VTubing, I was a fan of VTubers for yeah. some time before then. Mm-hmm. Um, and I tried to... How do I say? <laughs> I've talked about this long, long time ago in the past. So I guess it's okay if I bring it up again. I tried to- Talk about it again. Yeah, I auditioned for a company and yeah. um, my video was not even looked at. So, mm-hmm. because I had no experience. I had never streamed before. I've never ever done anything. I had done, Which is fair, yeah, right? Exactly. Like I get it. No, I 100% got it. And so I was just like, okay, I need the experience. So I became a VTuber to- to, to and then I just ended up really, you know, I wasn't gonna know or I didn't know exactly if I would enjoy streaming or you know, like I didn't know how it was gonna turn out if anyone would even watch me. But um, you know, here I am today, and I love it so much, and um, super grateful. It's literally changed mm. my afterlife. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you touched on something really interesting mm-hmm. about VTubing or just streaming in general. I get a lot of questions sometimes on stream about, oh, I want to start streaming, but da, 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 da. Just eliminate everything else. 
start streaming. Yeah. Because you might not even like it's it. It's true, it's true. You might not even like streaming or you might want to try different things, but just please just try it. First of all, yeah. <laughs> forget all the butts because you could have tried. And first of all, the, the company that didn't look at your, at your resume. Yeah. With how much there is with streaming, mm-hmm. with how many things you have to learn and to do, I completely get it. I could have been a they liability. They saw no experience. They, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, like I could have, I could have joined and then been like, I hate doing this and quit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's so obviously yeah. they would want someone with more mm-hmm. content creation or streaming experience than me. So I, I don't at all think of it as like a bad thing because I, and the thing is too, is I, at that time, I felt really, afterwards I felt really sad because all I knew were Japanese VTubers. So mm. I only knew like Kizuna Ai and Kaguya Luna yeah. and these VTubers mm-hmm. that had big company backings. And I was just like, mm-hmm. oh, there's no way I can get into this. But then when I discovered um, more Western Western VTubers and stuff like that, and I was like, oh my gosh, wait, they're doing exactly what I want to do. And they're doing it on their own. Like I, for some reason, didn't think that was possible. That's fair. So it was kind of a big moment for me to be like, oh my gosh, what? I can do this too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so you discovered that back then and you mm-hmm. got into VTubing. Mm-hmm. The thing is, nowadays you could say, you know, we kind of have this joke of everyone's a VTuber. Eventually everybody becomes a VTuber. Mm-hmm. There are so many VTubers. Mm-hmm. Do you feel it's worth getting into VTubing today? Well, yeah, absolutely. I think so. I think, um, I think if you want to stream, but you, you know, if you want that little bit of anonymity or whatever, I think VTubing today is just a is just a branch of regular streaming. And streamers, I, I don't think are going away. So no, no, it's it's just a it's just a different type of streaming. And mm-hmm. I think you know, it's hard. I don't know. If it depends on what kind of or not depends. How do I say this? Sorry, I'm not good at. Comp- it's okay. You're doing great. <laughs> Um, like sometimes people will look at VTubers like from the outside of the VTuber world and say, this is weird. Why don't they just, Mm. why aren't they just a person? Like, why are they, why do they have to be like (laughs) this anime person? Yeah. yeah, Sorry that I'm anime. I can't, I can't Uh help it. It's just my, my, I'm born anime. (laughs) (laughs) But I think when it comes to that, it's the same as a few years ago when, you you know, people would go on, you know, those late night shows and say, I stream a a video game. And those old hosts would say, well, why don't you, why don't people just play the game themselves? Uh, Why are they watching you play the game? And because VTubing is newer, mm. now it's like the same exact stuff that people said to streaming, they're not saying to VTubing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Next, yeah. it's going to be something else, but it's the same stuff. Oh, why are you? Da, 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 da. True, 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 true. Yeah. yeah. It's been, it's, I don't know. I really love VTubing though. I think, mm-hmm. I think it's, I don't, I don't think I would have been comfortable streaming. That's fair. Normally. I think I have to be a VTuber. <laughs> I feel it is worth getting into VTubing. I actually believe it has a lower barrier to entry than regular streaming. Mm. Because a lot of times with regular streaming, you if you show your face, that's one thing. But if you don't show your face, then the stream is kind of lacking a little something. Mm. And you don't have to show anything on stream. But I think VTubing just, there's this saying, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of it, where it's, if you put on a mask, you are the most yourself. It's kind of some form of that saying. Yeah. I feel that way. I, you know, as a theater kid, as everything, you just feel more yourself. You feel more like right now I'm talking at you. I'm I'm wiggling my whole body. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm in, you know, because you wiggle, know how wiggle, I talk. Wiggle. I talk with my whole body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just feel like sometimes it can get a little overwhelming when you, and when you're on on, on stream, for example, as a person, mm. you're so perceived. You're so kind mm. of like, oh, everyone's looking. I, I really think VTubing is super worth getting into. I think it's worth exploring. And I think it has a really low barrier to entry. You can just have, actually, this is, I guess, a next question. <laughs> Do you need an expensive model? <laughs> I'm answering the next question. <laughs> oh, you don't have $10,000. Should you get into VTubing? I, I don't remember how much my first model was. This is not my first look. This is actually my 2.0 look. <laughs> And, uh, but there, 
it's gotten really expensive. Oh, a lot of riggers yeah. have. I know this because um, actually one of my one of my friends just got into VTubing, um, Barry Crepe, and she was telling me like, especially as a small streamer, it was. And again, I'm as a smaller streamer everybody's waiting lists are booked out. Oh. It's hard to get in touch with some big riggers. You know, they don't follow her back, for example. Um. And it's it costs a lot of money. Mm. So it, it's gotten a lot pricier because it's kind of gaining traction and popularity. I think there are, you know, uh, levels to that. There's gonna mm -hmm. obviously be people that will, you know, do for cheaper. But on, I, honestly, like rigging is such a intricate and difficult uh, art <laughs> and honestly yeah. and also just drawing the models because you have to like the mamas have oh, to yeah, the, you need the illustration yeah mm -hmm. yeah like it's the, there's all the different parts and everything like it's very sorry if this is a little uh how to say um behind the curtain i suppose but i, like, I always say that <laughs> i think it's fine I, I think it's it's people i think in general are curious about this mm. i think it's a good one mm -hmm. I don't want anybody in the comments saying, oh, learn how to rig your own model. Because listen, you can you can do anything in life, but not everything. I I don't think anybody's going to be saying that, to be honest. No, no, people say that. Sometimes when I see people complaining about prices, they'll be like, just learn how to rig your oh. own model. No, it's not happening for me. It's not happening. Do you need an expensive model? No, mm. start with a Fugi, for example, Ooh. which is like a reactive image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have one with your mouth open, just an illustration, one with your mouth closed. When you talk, mouth opens. Have a little PNG, have a little, a chibi, for example, avatar, usually costs a lot less money than like a full model. Mm -hmm. You don't need something expensive to start, but it's just these same conversations were happening 10 years ago, 14, uh, 13 years ago when I was streaming. Oh, Oh, I can afford a really expensive computer. I can uh, afford. Okay, start with what you have. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. as your stream grows, as you grow and develop, you then get more things. You know, buy more stuff, get better, improve. There is something so magical about your audience seeing your improvement over time and growing with you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I started streaming on a gaming laptop. <laughs> it was a. Oof. It was a laptop in my closet. And um, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You did have the closet. And I That's had right. my focus right as my interface, and um, it peaked. And it, I mean, I still, oh, I still have so much trouble with audio today. Anyway, but <laughs> uh, audio is the bane of my existence. It's so it's, it's, difficult. It's so difficult. Yep. But um, yeah, like I, I just kind of went in with a goal, and um, so if you're really serious about it, you can start with you know a little bit you know you don't have to start with uh, with everything you don't have to start being like i need to have the most the most uh up-to-date mic i need to have the most up-to-date interface i need to have my computer at the best specs like just kind of take it at your own pace and again if you truly love doing this and if you you know can continue forward with it then then you can do the upgrades but yeah it's a process. Because too many people get everything and then they stream for a little bit and realize, I don't actually enjoy streaming. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, life happens. What if something happens? Yeah. You don't, aren't able to stream for some time. Like something could happen. Like, like hopefully not, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, knock, on, knock on wood. What the hell? I'm not saying, I'm just saying like, what if you get really busy She's with cursing work? cursing you. Is what I'm saying is like, you know, yeah, 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 like yeah. what if you have a big project at work and you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't stream for the next couple of weeks. Like, yeah. you know, I'm not saying it's a, or like something bad is gonna happen. I'm saying just something <laughs> could happen. What if you like yeah. have to go on a work trip and you're gone for, for I don't know, a month, something like that. Yeah. Like stuff happens. So just kind of. Speaking of money. Oh, money. Do you feel like you need a big lore? Ah. Oh. Like you need a big, you need a fancy debut. You who's not doing a fancy <laughs> debut tomorrow. But <laughs> you know, I'm there's like a difference, right? Because you're, you know, we, we have the podcast, for example. Right. I am fairly well established. Mm -hmm. Um you, you know, I don't, I'll let you say this. I don't know. I don't know what I can and cannot say. So, um, so it's kind of different, right? Like we don't want to tell people you don't need anything, you know, from, but do you think people need a big lore and a 
crazy debut? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think if you want that, that's totally, if you, if that, if you find that fun, if you're just like, I love that mm -hmm. creative process, then go for it. That is all you, baby girl, you do that, you know? But I, I don't even think I had a lore. I don't think when I debuted, I had a lore. I created a video mm -hmm. that was like an introduction, an introduction video, but I mm -hmm. didn't. And I thought about it. I was like, maybe I should have like some sort of backstory or something like to explain myself further, but I just never did it. And uh, I've seen other VTubers that have even hand drawn silly videos themselves took them yep, maybe, yep, I don't yep, know, yep, this yep, is yep. a ballpark, maybe like two mm -hmm, days or something. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and it was silly and whatever. And, you know, I think if you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get an animation. I have to get this big lore. I have to commission someone to write this whole, this whole thing for me. I think it's, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's completely necessary. What about you? I I think once you get popularity and are popular, I think investing back makes a lot of sense. Mm. But if you are starting out, I think there's something really magical about, same thing with a computer. You start off, you know, kind of, I guess scuffed is a good word. Mm. It starts off like homemade, you know, makeshift, homemade, and then it gets better and better. That being said, I think having some sort of identity at your debut, uh is really important so you, because you don't need to know. Oh, yes. No, no, go ahead. Sorry. You don't need to know every single detail, but I think you need a starting point in order to know, like, how do I say this? You don't need to know every single stop of where you're going to stop and rest, mm. but you kind of need to know your destination. Mm. And that's why I think having a little bit something, but it could be, like you said, it could be PowerPoint. It could be hand-drawn by yourself. Mm -hmm. It could be little puppets. It does not have to be a $10,000, $15,000 lore video. <laughs> but having something where new fans will come in and kind of know it's branding. It ah, works. It helps. People true. should come in and kind of have, because when you're a smaller streamer, you don't have a brand built around you yet. Mm. And having anything that helps you create that branding is helpful. Mm -hmm. See, for me, I often think that many people either abandon their lore or mm -hmm. like people forget about it um, in, a, in a lot of cases. But it also depends on how willing you are to keep that up. And uh, mm. But I like what you said earlier that you're saying that getting- Wait, you like me? No, I said, I like what you said. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How could you say that? I'm blushing. Stop it. That's not what I said. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go on. What did I say? Um, <laughs> you said, I like oh. you. No, I'm in no, love I with said, you, I, actually. And that's what I'm trying to confess I right said, now. I like what you said <laughs> about how. Um, uh, getting the lore video and stuff done can seem kind of like giving back to the community and like yeah because you're com you know obviously you have to commission artists you have to commission yeah. people so no that makes a lot of sense I never actually mm -hmm. I'll be honest I never thought of it in that kind of way so mm. Mm -hmm. I, I think of it as we, we talked about it a little bit before about kind of um I, I didn't really, I, I feel very comfortable like not telling my momos about every plan that I have because really? I want them to be surprised. I want them to enjoy it. I want them to be shocked. And that's how I feel like I'm giving back where mm. I'm creating a world and I'm creating things for them to really enjoy. And you know, when, um, when I posted the lore video with, I, I guess it's a lore video. I don't know what it is. The podcast animation, mm -hmm. right? Uh, which if you haven't seen it, I guess I'll, we'll link it in the in the description you of should, the video. Have you uploaded it to the channel? I haven't. Should, yeah. I should upload yeah, it. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, no, let's keep it on my channel so it can get some views. Oh, no, okay. I'm kidding. Oh, I'll, okay. Upload, no, no. I'll upload it here. No, no, no. Uh, it's just that this channel wasn't, you know, it wasn't public when right, I uploaded right, it. Right, 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 right. When I uploaded the animation for that, my Discord was just filled with 
everybody was clipping every single reaction. And now a ton of my emotes are the reactions of like, everybody was just going, uh. that Momo, that's me. <laughs> this Momo, that's me. You know, like that's cute. people really like that. And mm. I love that. It makes it all worth it. Cause you know how long I've worked on that lore. Oh, I know. You remember being in call with me and I'm typing it. <laughs> I know, I know. And me being like, wait. <laughs> It, one comment you said, you're like, I can tell you wrote this. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have a style of humor and writing where you're like, oh, Mata. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but I like that. I feel like it, it you know, you, when you watch that, you can tell it, it's it's mine mm. and, and it's ours because I give it to the community. So this is why I think it's important to kind of start with something. I know you said something interesting about people abandon their lores. Mm. I don't think that's bad. I don't think abandoning or changing your lore is bad oh. uh, because maybe at the start you kind of invented something and then you want to change. That being said, no, I'm not. Hold on, know, I'm not saying I don't. It. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying like someone will have a you know they'll come out with a lore video that costs them so much money and they're like I am the darkest i am the i am the <laughs> evil demon of the underworld and i am so bad and then and then they're just like hi guys i'm me you know like they're they're like they're the, the not to say like the gap is bad but it just yeah, it's like a yeah, contrast yeah, yeah. or like it's like they presented themselves as this in their lore video but the way they yeah. stream is like, entirely guys, different. Like in a, yeah, in a week they're just like they kind of drop the character and are just like oh I'm la 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 la. <laughs> mm, but again, if they haven't streamed much, then maybe they think that they can kind of sustain it. Mm -hmm. And then I, I get that. Mm, yeah. How would you grow today if if you had to start over right now? I don't exist. Unfortunately, you know, your heart is, you don't even know what you're missing, but you know that your heart is missing a piece. Yeah. I feel, I feel a Ow. deep <laughs> hole in my soul. Um, actually, this is the lightest and happiest like I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Black out your soul. I'd rather die. Give you control. I don't, go on. How would you grow today? Oh gosh. I don't know. Maybe like, um, I think, oh gosh, th this is so bad that this is the first thing that came into my mind, but TikTok. <laughs> no, that's not, I mean, it's a huge platform. Uh, it is, yeah, I, I see, I often uh, get like VTubers on TikTok in my For You page, so, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know, oh gosh. Oh, maybe I'm not cut out for this. Maybe I don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, baby girl. I got you. Okay, please. <laughs> don't worry, baby girl. We all got you. So for, for a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> you can take a break. I'm going to talk for the next 10 okay. minutes. <laughs> um, for anybody that doesn't know, I've been streaming for 13 years. Blah, 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 blah. So blah, 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 blah. I think even though everything feels more competitive because it feels like there's a lot more people than ever streaming. It feels like the best time to start streaming was 10 years ago. That's not true. I believe, and maybe you can disagree with me, the best time to start streaming is, okay, maybe a year ago. <laughs> but today is a really good time mm. because there is just more opportunities in the industry. Mm. There's more people and there's more outlets to grow and there's simulcasting and there's also, um, okay, let's, let's get back to it. So more competitive and more people. You also have more people to interact with. For example, when the woman whose body I live inside started streaming 13 years ago, she was streaming League of Legends, but it was kind of hard to make friends because there was a lot of people streaming it. But back then you had to be very good at the game you're streaming or ah. very entertaining. Um, you kind of had to be- And you were both. Even neither. the very- You were neither. <laughs> I was neither. I was nothing. <laughs> um, it was just a lot harder to grow. And the people that I could maybe interact with was, there was so few girls far, you know, here and there that I could kind of talk to and become friends with. And it just happened that sometimes you didn't really vibe with the people, but you only had three people. So you kind of have to vibe with them, you know? Um. And another thing is now there is a lot more, opportunity and income in the industry. Mm. Uh, back then, for example, on Twitch television, you could have a thousand viewers and you would have 200 paid subscribers. 
So that's not a livable, you know, monthly wage. But now you can have 100 viewers and have 2,000 subscribers on Twitch or 1,000 paid subscribers, which actually allows you to have a little bit of a livable wage and you're mm -hmm. able to potentially go full-time or maybe take a little bit more part-time work at your job to stream in a way that just wasn't possible. There's a lot more sponsors. There's a lot more opportunities as a smaller streamer now to create merch and sell that merch that just wasn't, before you, all you had was like Teespring, which was you put your logo on a shirt, right? Um, another thing, the algorithms have really changed i feel back then the algorithms only really showed you what was popular but now it shows you what's in your niche so if mm. you get into warhammer painting figurines your content will be shown to people even if you have a thousand followers oh. or 50 followers because just things now are gotten so big that the niches are better so algorithms do a better job at like kind of sending you to the right niche which really helps you another thing you can do one stream and broadcast it on Twitch, on TikTok, on YouTube at the same time. Adding on to it, like I said, I told you it was going to be 10 minutes. It's the, it's the Matara Khan <laughs> show. I, <laughs> when we were doing this document, she's like, I don't have anything to say other than three years. I'm like, don't worry, baby. Well, yeah, I'll because I, well, like I said, I haven't streamed and you also, well, I've only also done YouTube. Okay. So. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm talking more. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking um, more Twitch a little bit, I think. Twitch, but still, but just because Twitch streaming has been around longer than YouTube yeah, yeah, streaming, yeah. right? Um, but another thing that's really interesting, <laughs> you have you. the advantage. You have watched people succeed and you have watched people fail. And fail is a big word. But for example, uh, there's a lot of people who blew up when Destiny came around. A lot of them stuck around and stayed big streamers some didn't. A lot of people became very big with Fortnite. Some stuck around, some did it. Among Us, some stuck around, some didn't. You can learn how other people did it, how they pivoted. Also, now there's a lot more things that you can do with streaming content that isn't necessarily games. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody that I really love to give an example about is called Quincy's Tavern on TikTok. Mm. He started streaming on Twitch. He started doing games, wasn't like super working out for him. So now what he's doing, it's a cooking show on TikTok where he kind of, it's D&D-esque where he, you know, you're a traveler, you come to his tavern and he makes you something. But he's really gotten That's so, so much success on TikTok, right? So now you kind of, it doesn't need to be a gaming thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you mm -hmm. saw the other day, there was somebody that blew up on Twitter. I'm sorry, I don't remember their name. If you guys know their name, please commented. Um, they are doing a history lesson as a VTuber. Oh, I did see that. You know, yeah, 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 you yeah. did see that. Now you just have so much more opportunity because there's so many more people and there's so much more audience. So you can actually do, I'm sorry, this is like my hyper fixation. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I'm like getting more <laughs> energized as I speak. I have to remind myself to speak slowly because I'm on a podcast. You're good. No, you're good. You're good. I love it. This is this is my bread and butter. So I just feel that nowadays with streaming, if you try streaming, first of all, try all the platforms at the same time. Do not, you know, because mm. that's number one. Number two, try different things. Mm -hmm. Because another one, one of our friends, Onigiri, she oh, yeah. mainly does cooking streams where she invites a streamer on and she cooks a recipe that they want. And it still is a viable stream. It still is super fun. There's people yeah. who do D&D &D campaigns, critical role. There's people who go live painting um, Warhammer figurines. There's people who go live rigging VTuber models. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much so more I, variety nowadays. And that's what will help yeah. also help you stand out too. Of course. Mm -hmm. That's why I believe, <laughs> in conclusion, <laughs> I believe you should become a VTuber today. today. And if you do, you owe me 10%. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we're already um. splitting this. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The 10% is going to me. Oh. Because you didn't give them the advice. Oh. Yeah, no, I mean, am I giving you- Oh, but it was, it was on the podcast. Am I giving so yeah, you 10% as well? No, because you streamed independently from me. True. You should give me you should give me your love. That's all uh, I want. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just feel that it's it's one of those just just to like finalize it. Streaming is really fun, even if you never become a big streamer. 
sometimes, okay, I do have to mention this because loneliness is a big thing. Oh. I feel like nowadays we are so much more connected by the internet, but because of that, we have a hard time keeping up with other people. Maybe we don't get along with our family. Maybe we don't get along with people. I genuinely believe streaming is a really fantastic way to make friends. Yeah, You do not need to be a hundred viewer streamer, 200. If you just want to stream because you're lonely and you maybe have 10 viewers, 15 viewers, but it's the most fun people you know. You yeah. start a little Discord, you hang out with them. I really recommend it. Even just for the loneliness factor. Agreed. I saw actually a, a, a video the other day of, uh, I don't, I didn't recognize the streamer. He was a, he was an IRL streamer, um, but he- What's his name? I don't remember. It was, it was on TikTok oh. that I saw it, but mm -hmm. he explained a story about how for a long time, a really, really long time, he just streamed to one person. But that Aww. guy was always there and always like just like chatting in, with him. And it was just like two friends hanging mm. out and how um, that one guy really helped just keep him going. And I guess he is now a successful streamer. So, um, you know, there's- If anybody knows who she's talking about, please link them. Yeah. Cause I wanna it know. It was like, I don't remember what had happened, but there was a point where um, the streamer was just, I think he was having a hard time or something. And the guy just like mm. donated like a hundred dollars to him. And he was just like, here's for always like hanging out with me or something. And like, Ooh. it was really, and like the, then the guy like disappeared or something. I don't, it was really sweet though. And I was just like, way like people, mm. I think when people say parasocial, usually they yeah. have a bad connotation to it, but parasocial doesn't necessarily mean like a bad thing. Like I'm parasocial with Metal Gear. I'm parasocial mm -hmm. with, you know, you can be parasocial and still have a healthy relationship as long as, like, I think I, I would say I'm parasocial with my with my oh. fans. So. <laughs> I'm so parasocial with my fans. Yeah. You know that I wake up and I, in bed, I, I do voice notes from my bed. Mm-hmm. Because I just want them to know what? that I like love them. Like in your them. Discord? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> just like, good morning, guys. Today I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to be recording. How is everybody? No, it's so I, funny because like when I'm out, like if I'm shopping or something and if I see something that reminds me of someone's username, I'll be like, oh, I hope that person's having a good day. Like, you know, same. like in my brain. All the time. Like All the time. Yeah. And I think it's not a bad thing to be like that as long as it's you know obviously there's unhealthy levels of obsession but if par yeah, being parasocial does not necessarily mean that you're on like to those unhealthy levels and so i think it's okay to be like yeah i care about my fans and i care about what i do and um i'm parasocial <laughs> because of that mm -hmm. like yeah I think the reason it gets a bad rep is usually like, there's always a really small percentage of people that take it to the, uh, like mm. all the way over the edge, right? Yeah, of course. And because of that, it's like, oh, all parasocial is bad. Like I am, the reason I am able to stream as much as I do, to create the projects as much as I do, this podcast, right? This podcast is because I told you how I felt so alone and I had nothing to look forward to during quarantine. And I told myself that if ever I'm in a position where I have the energy, the time and the happiness to spread, I want to spread that. Mm -hmm. So I just know that my audience could be excited for something like this. Yeah, yeah. So I want to do that for them. I want to create things that I think my audience would love. Yeah. And I think that's parasocial of me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think, you know, I'm thinking about, okay, if, if they are, you know, maybe they don't watch me on Twitch or maybe they can't catch every stream. How can I do <laughs> something? I just, I just love it how we're like, I am parasocial. I'm parasocial. <laughs> I, and I'm proud. I'm so parasocial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so parasocial, but I, I really love it. And I think. I think the biggest thing with streaming that people forget is they're always thinking when I have a hundred viewers, I'll be happy. When mm. I have 200 viewers, if you think that way, you're never going to, you're never mm. going to have enough viewers, never going to have enough money. Mm. Think about, do you like this back and forth? If yeah. you like how it feels to stream to 10 people, yeah. you're going to love how it feels to stream to 50 people. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Everybody's there and you, you remember them and you keep up with them and, 
everyone's gonna start streaming after this podcast. <laughs> We're hyping oh. up, right? We're, we're really making it seem so magical. <laughs> I have to ask you a serious question because we were talking about the fluff. Serious question. I'm going to ask you about the big serious question that everybody wants to know. The big, the big Q, the big question. The big Q. Okay. Uh, should I join mm. a VTubing company? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just heard you like kind of cut off at the end. <laughs> that is that is probably the question that people have been waiting for while we're discussing yep. this, most likely. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, they're going to ask the real tea. Yeah. We want the real stuff. I, it really, I think, depends on what you want to get out of this. I think um, there's lots of VTuber companies nowadays. Um yeah. Obviously Western and Japanese. And mm -hmm. um I <laughs> I think if you're going to go into a Japanese company, you should prepare yourself for a bit of culture shock. A lot. <laughs> a lot of culture shock. Um, so much culture shock. It it, it like yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um there's gonna be some rules that you probably didn't expect that you might have to follow. Yeah. And obviously if you, I would say if you're more interested in like getting Japanese oriented opportunities, mm -hmm. that might be something that um, yeah. in, would interest you. If you're just like, oh, yeah. I want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be in that collab cafe or I want right, to right, be right, in right. that combini, stuff like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. um, you would be able to get those more easily. Um, or even if you're more into Japanese music, Japanese YouTube, mm. like idols, for example. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like that you can get a lot more with the Japanese yeah, company. But mm -hmm. it's definitely important to know your goals and aspirations. Yeah. If you're wanting, yeah. you know, if you're wanting the support of a company, but the freedom, then maybe a Western company would be for you. Yeah, but if you're wanting absolutely. those Japanese opportunities, if you're wanting, you know, that sort of image, then mm -hmm. a Japanese company would be for you. Well, you're the one in a company, Matara. So how do you feel? Um, I know, I know for, from the outside, it does, you know, Vishojo does seem like a company um, because we have a lot of support. But I'd say Vishojo is somewhere between a company and like an offline TV mm -hmm. because we are at some form just a group of friends and a group of good coworkers. Mm -hmm. And we are kind of branded together under a name and you know, Vishojo helps us get sponsors, opportunities, merch, conventions, but it's kind of like an in the middle of, mm. we're not just quite like just friends hanging out with branding, but we're also not quite, you know, a company. Mm. Unless, um, is that how you feel just because you're different from Japanese companies or is it? No, I feel that way. Um, Cause I've been around for a little bit. I've seen like companies rise and fall. Mm -hmm. And I feel that even English VTubing companies, it's run a little bit differently mm. than Vishojo is run. Mm. Um, I agree with you. I think if you have certain goals that maybe align with wanting opportunities in Japan, wanting to move to Japan, uh, maybe also wanting to do uh, 3D concerts or 3D mm. performances. I think Japanese um, corporations have some of the best technology for mm. that, some of the best kind of they already have the most experience because they've been doing it for a really, really long mm. time. Um, and maybe Vishojo has had 3D concerts though. So yeah, what, yeah Matar, they did. 3D Candy Pop Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Oh. <laughs> Actually, <Leak>. yeah. <laughs> no, no, they know. They know that I've I've hired somebody to work on my on my 3D. Ah, oh my um, gosh. But uh, it's just, I feel like that 3D culture is a lot more ingrained in kind of you know it was kizuna ai and even now like hatsune, <laughs> hatsune miku concerts it's kind of like that AI. so yeah kizuna ai you know like it Miss was like kizuna that I. <laughs> listen listen i have an accent when i speak okay no it's not the uh, ai sue it's me, i <laughs> sue me masen wakari masen <laughs> gomen nasari Daijebu. gomen, gomen nasari <laughs> Kizuna AI no. is how she is called. 
Honestly, I only started calling her AI because like now AI is everywhere. Oh, so I just, okay, I sorry. No, Th- no, this is one of my memes. No, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> It's like sometimes I say the Skyrim. Yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. Skyrims. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's just you. So though. anyway, Kizuna AI. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. No, no. Um, I mean, that's what her name is based I? off of, so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Kizuna. Um, I, I, think, I think Japanese companies do like, just because they have more experience. Yes, V Shoujo had Candy Pop Explosion. It was nice. It was good. It was great. Mm. But- I also know it was a lot of work mm. where is, and it was a lot of first time work, mm. right? When you do something for the first time, it's always harder. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I feel like Japanese companies just have more experience with that. That is true. Uh, yeah. That being said, if you're more interested in the streaming aspect, maybe having a more North American audience, maybe streaming on Twitch, although I know some of them do stream on YouTube. I, I yeah, I do think a company can make a lot of sense. Um, I think you are able to learn a lot more. You know how they say nowadays, like, oh, don't go to university, learn everything on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But some people (laughs) still learn better in a university, right? Yeah. Some people cannot learn by themselves the same way that they would learn in a company. And Mm -hmm. I don't know for you if it's the same, but something that I really appreciate about Vishojo and I really appreciated about my past employment was being surrounded by people who are Mm -hmm. creative, Mm -hmm. excited, they want to work, they show up like, you know, and maybe sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I want to take it easy this week. And then I see their schedule and it kind of gets me excited. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like living with somebody who tells you, oh, I just came back from the gym. You're like, <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go I'm, for I'm a go- run yeah, too. Me too. Yeah, it, like it gets you kind of like does, blood does, pumping, you know? When you see somebody release an amazing cover, you're like, wow, I want to do that too. Yeah. So for me, it, it motivates me and it energizes true, me true. to be in a group environment. Yeah, uh, whereas some people it might be the opposite. They might prefer being alone. That's yeah, and, and that's really what you have to see for yourself. If you're like, should I join a company? Mm-hmm. You know, if you prefer working by yourself, obviously in a company you can still work by yourself. But of course, in a company you're going to feel like you might have an expectation to work with people yeah. more. Yeah, um, because mm-hmm. obviously you're gonna have your your group of people that are with you in the company, and so yeah. Um, well, I think even English VTubing companies, they debut people t- typically in generations, I guess, or waves mm. as they're called. So I you will typically on the kind company, of, yeah. really? Uh, uh, yeah, because it's mostly like groups. So mm. you don't have to always do things with your group because mm. sometimes, you know, you're just coworkers and there's nothing wrong with, you know, they're great people, you're great people, but you're just coworkers. Mm. But uh, you just sometimes want to do your own stuff. I do feel in a company, you're kind of expected to do things with other people yeah, yeah. a little bit more. I would say um, so. But you you can learn, you can learn a lot. Yeah. You can learn a lot more in a company than by yourself. If you're maybe not like the most self-starting person, then yeah, a company could be really nice. Right. And for me, I I feel like I'm kind of all over the place. I prefer a bit of yeah, support. You are. So. <laughs> um, you know that's awesome. let me hold them ma'am they're heavy <laughs> they look heavy <laughs> I need my my padded <laughs> my ultra padded <laughs> you look great thanks <laughs> <laughs> she's blushing she's blushing so you feel like you're all over the place and you need a little bit of yeah consistency? I just need a little bit of consistency a little bit of support like I um, obviously I when I did this before I don't, I was not big enough to get anything like sponsors or uh, any kind of opportunity like that. So I don't know mm-hmm. how it will be for me now. Um, mm-hmm. I, don't, I still don't even know how big I'll be because I haven't streamed yet. But <laughs> um, once I get to a more consistent schedule, I suppose. But I still, I prefer to have like, you know, that, that, what's the word? Uh, sis, help, help, what do they call it? A support yeah, system? Like a support yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. support system. Because even you always have people that you know, you know, if you're like, let's say 20 people in your in your company, somebody goes into Discord, hey guys, new game is out, mm. Lethal Company. I, I, it's not new. Now it's <laughs> now it's content warning. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, new game is we out, content warning. It. Who wants to play? You want to play? Yeah, I want to play it. That was the game I, I sent it the you, other the day. free game. <laughs> it was, and then that same day, Zen invited me to a collab. Oh. I played with your Kamiyoshi. <laughs> Wait, Henya? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was me, Henya, Zen, and Ariel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it 
me. And I said, oh, uh, my my podcast co-host, uh, she says you're her cowboy. I'll send you the clip. And she's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she was so smug about That's it. That's my Oshi. <laughs> That's my Yoshi. That's my Yoshi. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just really nice because, again, the reasons then invited me to the collab, right? It's just, it's easy. She just goes into like our Discord mm-hmm. with Vishojo and she's like, hey, who wants to play? Right? Yeah, exactly. Although she had DM me personally. Oh, <laughs> lucky you. But so often I'll just be like at everybody, hey, who wants to play Helldivers, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is something you don't really get. If you're if you're alone and you don't have that kind of support, it's you me. just have to message it's everybody. Me, I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> well you you're not alone you got your what it, what is it phantoms I f- fandom fandom yeah fandom i'm mm-hmm. not gonna play games with me well thank you <laughs> uh, not you did say minecraft server oh yeah maybe huh? maybe 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 i said maybe mm-hmm. probably it'll <laughs> probably happen <laughs> i say maybe but it'll probably happen <laughs> but yeah i think i think we we touched on that topic very nicely uh, if you have, honestly, this is another advice that I give. If you have any more questions about growing your stream, starting out as a streamer, I genuinely really recommend you YouTube it. I know <laughs> I, I gave you the whole, just Google it, but it's cause we are, we've been at it for a while, but if you're starting off, you're much better off getting advice from somebody who just recently became popular mm. or who is growing in popularity because their advice will apply to you a lot more you know, my advice would be, oh, pff, oh, you, you, you know, you're starting, just have, you know, your popular friend do a podcast. With you. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> hey. It's so easy. <laughs> Wait a second. Chotamate. 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 So I, I do recommend that you take a look at YouTube. There's a lot of advice on TikTok and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. We're, we're. Every every time, I think we're going to be always going over time. So I know we said the podcast is an hour and a half. We lied. We just love yapping. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we talked a lot about a lot of stuff today, though. But it's fun. It is. It I is. I love it. Yeah. And even now, I'm like, man, I want to talk more. And we hope that you guys kind of enjoyed our little bit of insight on VTubing. Mm-hmm. If you have any other questions, mm-hmm. of course, you can leave them in the in the comments. And maybe we'll touch a bit on it more in a future episode. Um, or maybe we'll ignore it. Or, or we'll ignore it. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, we just won't. Yeah. We do our best. Maybe we'll just say, yeah, you, your opinion doesn't, well, your questions don't matter. Aren't we? <laughs> Uh, no, they do matter. They do Please matter. ask yes. us. <laughs> so any any last ending ending words we want to say? Pa, 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 pa. Um, I could start. Okay. Uh, for Patreon, oh. um, <laughs> yeah, the Patreon is uh, doing a, a little bit a little bit better than we expected. <laughs> but we are gonna start doing streams on the Patreon. The goal right now is two streams uh, per month. Um, sometimes we'll be together. Sometimes we'll each do a stream. Eventually we'll have better ideas of like maybe a segment or a show that we each do. Um, for the postcards, for the Patreon, I think the first postcard is going to be a double one, but eventually I would like to have us maybe like have each a solo postcard or like a solo, uh, but like in the month you'll get both of us. How many postcards uh, we are we also- signing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Check the Patreon. You have the login details. Yeah, I do now. <laughs> because Okay, I had accidentally, okay. I wasn't able to verify the Patreon, so I changed email. And then I was like, why don't you just log in? You have all the information. But I had changed the yeah, email. Yeah, she hadn't given me the information. Actually, you hadn't even given me the information. And then the information you gave me was wrong. <laughs> so It was the same she information was Googling, as the I other stuff. How do I find out what email is on Patreon? <laughs> 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 How do I find out what email I use for Patreon? <laughs> Listen, I am, if ever you think you're bad with computers, I exist. It's true. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> it's because it was not sending me the verification for some reason on our podcast email. So I changed it to one of my Matara emails and uh, it worked. And then I forgot to change it back because I was trying to run away with the money. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to use this opportunity for the postcards and like the stickers and everything like that to showcase artists yes. from the community. So if you are doing Art of Us, don't worry. We see you. Yeah. We'll find you. We'll come to you. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, oh, there's still the merch. 
that we have. Yeah. Um, check it out. Uh, there's a link check in the it description. Check out the summer merch. Mm-hmm. What kind of, uh, someone, I saw someone ask what the coasters are made of. Do you remember? I don't remember. I have to okay, ask. We'll ask. Uh, hold on. Let me, let, yeah, let me, we'll, let me ask. Well, well, cause it doesn't say on the site. So we'll, we'll, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. we'll figure it out we'll let you know what those are made of also we we should do a fun little trailer for the merch oh. so that you know how in podcasts they go this podcast is sponsored by I, and we can just like have our merch oh yeah yeah uh, could we have like the fun explosions like yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that would be fun <laughs> Um, and yeah, I guess this is as our first episode, the main theme is, you know, our experiences with VTubing. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Yes. Um, other than that, uh, let us know also how your debut was. I guess next next week when we meet, yeah. we're going to know how your next debut was. Next week, we'll know how my debut was. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to reconvene tonight to film the Patreon episode. So look forward to that, yep. everybody. Yep. And uh, speaking of Patreon... Do you wanna do you wanna do the the send off? What's the send off? Thank you to these patrons. Oh. Your name will be on the screen. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, patrons. Thank you. Your names are on the screen. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. I hope you find yourself. Tag yourself. Yay. Thank you, oh everybody. God, that's me. Thank you. Oh my god, that is that's me. not you. That's not you. <laughs> that's me. That's not oh my you. god, that's... that one has my oh name. My god, no, no. <laughs> They have my name. Oh my god! What? That one's me. I don't think so. I'm telling you, it's me right All there. All these people are you. <laughs> you're the mobile you're, mind. You're 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 all your uh, what's it called? Dummy accounts. <laughs> I thought you were calling my momos dumb. I instantly got like offended. No, I thought you were gonna be like all your dummy momos. <laughs> I don't know why. I just got- no, <laughs> no. Okay, no, no. The these are all. Me. Yeah. Okay. See you guys next week. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye, honey. Bye bye. Bye bye.